Yeah, I wanted to be a mega mentor on The Voice because I like The Voice. I watch The Voice when it's on TV in England. I've performed all around the world on different voice things, but I've been an advisor with Christina Aguilera back in 2013 on The American Voice. I did enjoy my time with Christina. It's usually just performances on the live shows. I've never really done like full, full mentoring like this. The first time I've done, I've done this. Hey. Holy crap! That's Ed Sheeran. What's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Did on. you? Because our dressing rooms are right next to each other. Did you hear me performing Sweet Caroline? I did, and, yeah. And I was really wanting you to critique my version, like from a mentor standpoint. It sounded beautiful. Yeah. It did. But you are a professional singer, so uh, I would expect it to sound great. Depends. <laughs> so excited. Do they have any idea? About you? Yeah. No. Cool. They're gonna be very excited. I mean, it would be a bit of an anticlimax if they were like that. Oh. I hope they don't drop dead. Hello! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is Ed Sheeran, everybody. All right. <gasps> okay. Nervous? Little. I mean, you're, you're here. <laughs> He's literally like an Avenger of musicians, yeah. Ed Sheeran, y'all! Hey. She was like, Whoop! How are you? Hello, I'm so good. How are you? This is intense. I'm singing his song. Oh, you are? <laughs> Which one? Photograph. You didn't even know. I didn't know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Being a mega mentor and coming in is perfect because you get to come in and give constructive criticism that genuinely makes a performance better and then leave. I feel like I'm going to cry this knockout. It has, I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I was saying my, my job's the best. I literally come in and go, yeah, cool, all right, yeah, see you in a bit. Feels good, huh? Do you know what I love about The Voice, actually, is all your coaches are so different. I guess it's chosen in that way, but they're all so different, and they all have their own individuality with how they do it. Usually the best singer that wins this, or is it just... It's a combination. ...who captures the nation? Like, the guy that won last season was really good, and plus he's on Team Blake. It's hard to beat him, but Ariana, she'll throw a, an interesting wild card into it. It's her first year, isn't it? First season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The coaches are so so great, you can tell they actually really care about their artists. I'm so excited to be like Team Ariana's stage mom. I'm gonna be like, she needs to be on the Today Show tomorrow and he needs to go to this tomorrow. <laughs> and we're gonna be like, stop contacting us. <laughs> My take on this, are you hear like Beyonce sing, right? you know Beyonce can do everything, yes. but she sings song first and then like every now and then when she does a run, you're like, oh my God. You don't have to necessarily do all the runs straight away. Slowly ease it in and then by the end when you're belting it, and it's like, oh wow. There's nothing I can say that's better than that when it comes to advice. Yeah, I think it's important to be able to take notes. I take advice all the time still. I know what I'm doing for some things, but on other things, it's good to have someone go, hey, you should maybe do this. I was on a TV show when I was 16 and I didn't get it. I remember being crushed and then it just happened. So whatever happens on this show, do not stop. I think for me, the reason I'm telling all the kids about the story when I was a teenager. Wait, wait, is this you? It's me at 14 not being able to sing in June, yeah. It's really bad. What were you singing? A song I'd written. Kids always go, oh, you have to be born with natural talent. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I think life just seems so final in the moment and everything's finite and like this is the end and this won't happen and this won't happen but life goes on, life the days roll by and uh, all that remains the same is your love for music and your love for singing. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can achieve anything in this world. You can achieve anything. If you take things day by day, and just every day you wake up and you go, look, this is what I want to do, this is what I love doing, then you can never really feel like you've, you've lost. But my point is I learned and learned and learned and experienced and then I now have a career. Use this show for what it's great for, which is being put in front of a massive national TV audience. You guys are way further ahead than I was. What a lesson to, like, humility is amazing. <laughs> so there we go. I had a great time. Um, most, you know, it's not just the fun. Everyone here has been great. Everyone here has a great atmosphere. 